Danger on the high seas, taking on party politics, and an eco-friendly workout. We're covering all of it in today's edition of CNN Student News. First up, hijackings near the Horn of Africa, where piracy of all things is on the rise. Yesterday, a cargo ship was attacked off the coast of Somalia. This, just days after the capture of the Sirius Star, that's a Saudi Arabian oil tanker about the size of a U.S. aircraft carrier. Experts believe it is the largest vessel ever seized by pirates, but it's just one of the dozens of ships hijacked this year. Alfonso Van Marsh examines the danger facing sailors as they pass through the waters where these attacks are taking place. Hello, beastie. Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Captain you Hook in the Adventures of Peter Pan. Man to man. That's the image of pirates in popular culture. But for sailors navigating the Horn of Africa, piracy on the high seas is no laughing matter. What we're dealing with here is armed criminal gangs who are working for law lords in Somalia. Armed pirates holding ships and their sailors hostage for ransom has reached unprecedented levels. In the wake of the hijacking of the Saudi supertanker, the U.S. military is warning shipping companies to do more to protect themselves. The idea of hiring armed security firms like those protecting clients in Iraq is something shipping companies say they're loath to do. Insurance premiums will go up if you have to put armed personnel on, on, on board ship because then the risk goes up. And the International Chamber of Shipping says carrying weapons is inappropriate. Some flag states will not allow crews on ships flying their flag to carry arms. And perhaps even more restrictive is the fact that some ports will not allow crews in if there are small arms on board the ship. Shipping experts say most crews prefer to be known as unarmed sea merchants. So they can do little more than dispatch more lookouts at night, use fire hoses to keep pirates at bay, or improve engine speeds to outrun them. Pirates are targeting three types of ships. Oil tankers, like the Saudi vessel hijacked earlier this week, container ships delivering household items to your favorite shopping mall, and bulk cargo ships full of raw products like coal and military equipment like tanks. But it's the ship and its sailors that are the most valuable treasure. And where ships traditionally sail through the Suez Canal and into the Gulf, now some shipping companies say it may be safer for those boats to actually work this way, sailing down the east coast of Africa and around the Cape of Good Hope, though that didn't help the Saudi supertanker, and that would add weeks to shipping deliveries and drive up costs. Shipping experts say better coordinated military escorts are a temporary solution to the pirate problem. Until then, perhaps the best crews can do is batten down the hatches and hope for safe passage. Alfonso Van Marsh, CNN, London. A word to the why. 